What? 1,250? What is up everyone, my name is Loverfella and we have joined a new server today so we are starting over for what the third time now and as I'm sure you guys noticed that giant floating island means that we are playing on the Valhalla map. So I tried to play here a couple of times before and <clears throat> I really didn't make much progress. Um, is that a beaver dam? Oh that's sweet. So this is a new server I've joined. Well, is he going to attack me? Yep, he's going to attack me. This is a new server I joined where uh, rates are extremely high. Wow, dinos are also incredibly high. That level 450 castor beaver, whatever you want to call it, just killed me. Um, So, I really haven't put too much time into Valhalla. I don't know where things are. I don't know where the best parts to live are. So, you guys are going to go on this journey with me. So... I decided to join this server after playing on a lot of other PvP servers where people just were kind of jerks. I mean, like, they were killing my passive dino dinos, they were raiding me every single night. It was, uh, it was really frustrating. I, did, I just couldn't progress at all and it made the series really hard to make. So the group of people here, I'll have links probably in my channel to all the other people I'm playing with, but I think we all make ARC videos and um, currently I'm the least popular, I believe, on the server. And, yeah. So, this is actually a really cool looking area, and I'd like to live near this water. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And, yesterday I really tweaked with my video settings, with my mic settings, um, with all kinds of different uh, settings inside my recording software. So, I'm hoping it brings a higher quality video to everyone that's out there watching today. Alright. <coughs> This is a really cool area. Is it possible to walk up and down this? Because it actually would be kind of sweet to maybe make like a little fishing sack, fishing shack down there. Yeah, we can. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but my first ever character was this guy. Um, his name is Black Man. The reason is obviously because he's black, but in past videos, I made people short, uh, assuming that gave me stealth, you know, made it harder to find. But now, Look at this. I'm going to blend in with the night perfectly. And look, I got the mouth moving now when I talk, so... Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so let's get started. Um, with the basics, we're going to chop some wood down and... What? 1,250? Ew. Dang. I actually have no idea what mods we're playing with right now, but that's really cool. Looks like we got quick level up too, which means we won't have to watch that grind. So while I'm doing this, I'll just go ahead and uh, talk to you guys about what's been going on in my life in these past few weeks. So, I just got back from spring break, which is why there was about a two-week period where I couldn't put up any videos. I couldn't bring my gaming computer with me when I went home, and my laptop's really pretty crappy, so it, it wasn't capable of running anything. <clears throat> and now that I'm back from, back from spring break, there it is, let's get that weight up. I have three tests this week, so got one in uh, statics, which I took today, and it was very, very hard. I know a lot of kids who did extremely poorly on it, so hopefully I passed. Um, unfortunately, this class is one I failed as a freshman. Technically, I passed it, but I needed a C and I got a D. Definitely don't blame Ark for that, because it wasn't around at the time. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's going a lot better this time. And in other news, it has been two months since I started a new meal plan known as Keto, and I am down 20 pounds in two months. So I think that's pretty great. Pretty great. A little lag there, and I accidentally made two of them. Um, what else do we want to learn? Um, maybe a spear. Let's go ahead and learn our thatch junk and grow a level. I like to get weight up early. I think I mentioned that before. It just makes it a lot easier to uh, progress early on in the game. Do we have a door frame? Yes, and a door. All right, there we go. Is this the 1000? Oh, level 600. I really hope taming is turned up because I cannot imagine how long that would take to tame. And I, I think this is a PVP server, but like there's not too many of us who play right now. 
So I'm not entirely sure what we'll be doing. I, I don't know if we'll be battling it out, but it's definitely not PvP, so for those of you who like the PvP aspect, don't worry. There will be some battles, I'm sure. That's a big poop. Okay, looks like there's quite a few rocks over there. We're gonna... Wow, there's a lot of poops, actually. These things are going hard. Look at them. Oh, it looks like there are some different types of flowers in this, uh, in this world, too, which uh, is reducing my FPS significantly. That's okay. Oops. I want to craft a hatchet. And let's go back and start our base. <clears throat> so I think the way I'm going to... Wow, that is so much poop. They must have poop turned up. That's pretty cool, though. It'll it'll make the game a little bit easier. I know quite a few people who don't like mods at all, and they think it ruins the game. They say, the game developer wanted the game to be like this, so why would you change it? And my brother is one of those people. He thinks the uh, PC is awful, people mod, and it means you're cheating and stuff, but it's extremely false. I went to a game developer's conference, the GDC in, uh, where was it, San Francisco, I think, a couple weeks ago. And they mention you have to make your game fun. And that's something that's pretty simple, pretty obvious. Yeah, you need to make a fun game. But aspects of this game are not fun in its current state. I don't want to walk around and spend six hours doing this to a tree in order for someone to come over here and spend five minutes to ruin all of that. That's something that a lot of people don't like. And so increasing the amount of poop, the amount of resources you get, how quickly you level up, stuff like that makes the game a lot better for some kind of people, <clears throat> some types of people. Because this game really is a full-time job. You have to feed your dinos, keep your base intact, all that stuff. And if you don't have friends to play with, it's even harder. And we need some wood. Oh, I never, or did I make one? Yes, I did. So yeah, you, you need friends or you need like a server like I've just joined, the Arcaholic server. Um, what are we going to learn now? Nothing. Let's get that wood. So hopefully with these people, they're a little more respectable. They won't be douchebags and kill my level 30 pterodactyl, pteranodon, whatever it's called. Oh man, those are expensive. I guess I had no reason to make these, but whatever. We're going to make a big house. We don't need to stay hidden, because I think people are going to be cool with us. So, hmm, what's the best way to do this? Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to get, like, like uh, Sarkos and, um, uh, what are they called? The Sharks, Megalodons in this area, and maybe make some kind of bridge over the top where I can look down and see them. So, that'll be cool. All right. We'll give ourselves a little room there to make a balcony, maybe. <sighs> Just put it right on top of the other one. What a waste. That's all right. Five wide seems like a pretty good starting point. And let's see, what we need is a lot of wood. So we're gonna keep getting that weight up. I usually like to get it to like 300 while throwing in a couple levels into health and stuff like that. And I'm hoping as we continue to progress, maybe uh, once I get a little farther than a wood base, people will join this server, a couple more people that are respectable and won't grief. And we'll see where we go from there. So, I've already put a ton of points into weight, and I'm getting encumbered constantly. Let's, well, I guess that's not too much weight. We have that door. Let's make a door frame. Yes, yes we can. And, oh, I gotta learn the thatch ceiling, of course, which is here, thatch roof, and another level up. Weight's at 200, so, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we're progressing at a pretty solid speed right now. And we need more wood, so much wood, so much wood. But I think, so, back on the topic of mods, I think, yeah, I know, don't judge me, but we're just gonna... We're just going to replace it already. I think one of my all-time favorite mods is the Better Beacons mod. Because, I, I don't know, I'm not a game developer. 
but I kind of get how it works, and I don't think it's that hard to uh, make new items in a beacon. I mean, wouldn't you just go into the code and just say, instead of these random variables, you would instead have these new ones? I mean, the beacons in the base game are awful. I had a server where I had, like, 50 water jars. What am I going to do with 50 water jar blueprints? I'm going to have to be really careful not to hit these guys. Wow. Level is so high. Alright, let's just keep getting these things knocked out. And we'll go from there. Let's see. Currently, it is 2 o'clock in 30 minutes. i got to go shopping. So I think I'll be able to do this for maybe 30 more and get some edits in later today. But living that college life, man, there's just not much time to do this stuff. But sometimes you gotta take a break. You gotta relax. You gotta let go. I've spent, what, 12 hours in the last two days in conference rooms studying with people. It's just been unreal. <sighs> what are you gonna do? Keep getting that weight up. And I think I'm level 15, so I would unlock some more things. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. Stone wall. We want to get a little chest so we can get a big chest and we want that bow because we're going to need to tame some stuff we'll also need narcotics mortar and pestle um i like a spyglass i don't know when i'll find crystal i have no idea where they are in this world slingshot where you be where you be da -da 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 -da. there you are and the bow and uh, i think that's good for now Oh, please excuse the Hangouts notification. I guess I forgot to turn that off. Okay. So we're just going to keep cutting down wood, and I think we're going to go for like a 5x... Five um, 1, 2, 3, 5x4 five for a starting out, and we'll increase it from there. A couple years ago, I took a vacation to uh, Florida with my girlfriend. And while we were there, we saw this, I don't know, it was like a military base. And I was like, okay, this is kind of boring. Um, why are we here? I want to go to the beach. But then, looking back on it, that military base had a freaking sweet design. And it was kind of like star-shaped with cannons on the edge of every single star point. And so, I think I might try to replicate something like that here. That'll, that'll be a ways down. You know, I'll need turrets and everything, but... I've always wanted to do a build kind of like that. It seems like a pretty good size for now. We'll, we'll stick with that. <laughs> 